All right, yeah, I hope I don't um, go around the camera too much. I'm just gonna say this. I'm, it's tricky because I'm real. I'm getting really uh, pulled into this. Um, well, with the Russian turn right now, I'm just so intrigued. Um, well, I think it's probably due to the fact that um, the Germans uh, staggered a bit over here, like, well, everywhere. I mean, the Austro-Hungarians are doing fantastic, but the Russians are well aware that they're, they don't have a lot of supply, not a lot of um, troops. They're doing well, but okay, here we go. Oh yeah, what I'm trying to say in the, in the other thing bit is that um, I'm a, uh, I'm a little concerned. I'm, I'm I'm like trying to rein myself in a little bit. It is so compelling though. I'm just going mental with this. Um, I like I've got to like rein myself in because I got to like focus a bit more on the uh, the live stream and stuff like that. I, like I really want to do a, like you know up a notch kind of thing. It's slow progression, but as long as I don't go backwards, I'm uh, like an okay. Kind of a thing but um so there we go um yeah i'm beyond uh jumping up and down excited by this um what else to tell you i, I this is just gonna go on and on and on i'm just so um i'm just so happy you have no idea you really don't or maybe you do but um if you do then thumbs up and i just found out something yeah it's a thumbs up you know I'll talk about it later about charm soldiers and so on and so forth um so i'm feeling optimistic about the russians um the germans are not getting uh everything their way time is running out like i've said before we're gonna have the massive christmas truce coming up um or sorry the uh the december truce coming up after that, come January, I'm going to, you know, uh, take a look at, there's going to be, like, remember, uh, they're dismantling the Caucasian army because of the um, the non-aggression pact with the Ottomans, uh, so they can, you know, release tons of troops from there and bring them over to here. That takes a long time, but that's going to be into January. I still have to actually take a look to make sure logistically if they can still bring, uh, I have to take a look at how many troops they can actually bring by January. Because got a, 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 a significant number of them have to be brought in by uh, uh, by ship, that type of stuff, mind you. I mean, if the you know the the Ottomans aren't um, messing about with them in the Black Sea, then everything should be good. Um, so I'm trying to piece things together, chop it down. Oh, there's the other thing I'm not doing uh, according to Der Valkyrie rules. Um, I do my recombination and whatnot uh, uh, at the beginning of the turn. So before movement and all that other stuff, uh, it's uh, incorporated with the reinforcements. However, when your reinforcements are replacement unit type things, I mean, it's not the same term, but you get the idea. Um, like for example, I don't know if you can see them over here. Uh, these are replacement units coming in here. I can't use these, these turn, uh, this turn, um, but there's some replacement units sitting here. I think about six. I'm going to be um, allocating them anywhere I want, as long as they're not um, within my own um, home-brewed restrictions. That's the way it goes. Oh, trust me, man, I want to go on to another level of insane um, uh, granularity, if you want to call it that, of like, oh, the first, you know, the first turn, it doesn't matter what I've been reading from stuff, and I'm like, they threw people in right off the bat. Take a look at the freaking Battle of Luss, for God's sakes, with the uh, the 22nd and the 24th Reserve uh, Divisions there. Um, I think they were the 22nd and the 24th. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I probably am. By the British. Uh, uh, and they were the first um, the first Kitchener's Army, I think, to, to go on in, like, big time. And they were, like, brought in straight in. Like, straight in. Like, here you go. Like through the, like, you know, they were like uh, getting indoctrinated pretty darn quick. Um, and they got slaughtered. I think, uh, what, what, what did they call it? The Germans call it the, the field of corpses or oh, just like, they were, I think uh, they, uh, was that, um, there's that one point. I think even there's even anecdotes or, or, or records of like the Germans just like um, commanding officers, like just saying, just stop firing, man. This is just fucking nuts. I, you know, that type of stuff, um, or just like, uh, yeah, 
Anyways, let's get back to this. So I'm trying to chop it down is what I'm doing and I'm excited. I'm glad that I brought uh, Bruce Eloff back um, from the dead, I guess, from, because uh, he was, remember, he was axed. Then I, uh, as an army commander for 8th Army, and this got incorporated into 3rd Army. Um, Jesus Christ on a crutch. You think I'd remember um, the 3rd Army? He's been around for goddamn uh, Ruski. Jeez, uh, I hope to God I can remember him. Anyways, he's been around for a long time. He's uh, supposedly going to be taking uh, uh, orders from Ruski. Ruski's like, nah, it ain't going to happen, man. So we'll just keep everything hush hush and not tell Dan Love what the hell's going on. You can do your own thing here uh, because all the troops are loyal to you anyways. So he's been, you know, slowly bringing them back. I mean, how's he got to do? He's got no supply and no troops. Uh, but he's got a major river. Hello. So what we're going to do is uh, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do here. Remember, we're still under the radar. Dan Love doesn't know what's going on. Well, he's starting to clue in with the whole picture and every, everybody's happy. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going, well, we're going to cut rail like there's no flipping no more. That, that's gone. Uh, there's no rail there. Uh, that's already cut. Well, I cut them all actually. And yeah, I did. I anticipate, like I just put them in. Like I said, though, I'm going to, the replacement units are going to happen. So these guys were brought in last turn. They're now in. And as long, like I said, with my own restrictions, they're in. We got some good stuff going on for the Russians because I'm starting to clue in about how to like, oh God almighty, you should have saw it before I decided I'm going to try to make a, sta uh, a stand at Stanislaw. I was like, oh, I'm going to do like a fighting retreat or whatever. I could see it in my mind. I was like, this is amazing because I see it from other people when I, that I watch their playthroughs and I'm like, I'm not there yet, but I'm like, oh my God, I could see that stuff. But I'm like, you know what, we can still do that type of thing and still make it hard for the Austro-Hungarians. I'm going to bring some troop over here. I think it's the 4th Rifle, the poor bastards. I'm going to bring them over to here. Actually, I think I'm going to have to bring the uh, Opelcheni Brigade over here and then there to there to there. And then I'm going to slide. It's just the restrictions. You're not allowed to bring, um, go from one enemy zone of control to another in a major river with your Valkyrie. Um, Part of me is like, eh, remember, I'm straight so far away. I'm not even, shouldn't even be talking about it anymore. Um, I, I was like, oh, screw this. I'm going to bring them from there to there. However, I was like, you know what? Let's still role play this. There's refugees left, right, and center going. There's pe Forget it. It's a mess. Stanislaw is a mess. So we're going to bring these guys uh, from here to here. And then uh, I'm going to leave these guys from here, uh, there, I think, because the woods is still pretty darn good. Um, uh, mind you, the major, major river, I think, is a minus three. So I'm going to move these guys to here, this guy to here, that guy to here. That'll be a five, a two, and we don't know what to hear. And then I just slide her back is what I'm trying to do. And I'm going to try to ask Ruski over here to um, send some um, troops over at some point. This is the gaping hole, scary thing I'm worried about. Uh, but that's uh, for another day is what I'm trying to clue, uh, trying to explain to you. Uh, and myself is that uh, that's for another day one thing at a time here and we'll just slowly slink our way uh, in oh god almighty this has just been um, and to think like in my mind I'm like this is just gonna go on well as long as you know um, you know as long as I wanted to I guess and you know uh, unless external circumstances really say nope we're taking everything away um, I get to play this flipping this thing for the rest of my life, man. Like, this is just, uh, yeah, I was thinking about it actually when I was biking to, I'm not sure if it was to work or after, uh, coming home, but I was like, this game technically could just last, like I could drag this puppy on for decades, man. Or I don't think I'll la live that long, but you get the idea. All right, hope you're having a fantastic time. Well, I certainly am, that's for sure. Okay, see you later.